Let's talk shop this chop chop and give a little real talk, period. And today I want to talk about haters. <laughs> now, I've been under attack from haters for quite some time now, right? And, uh, you know, when you tend to gain a little bit of notoriety and, uh, you know, you start doing a little bit well for yourself, uh, is something that inevitably brings about the haters. I mean, hell, I had haters before I was even, you know, known as anything to tell you the truth. So, uh, but needless to say, uh, as people started to know who I am, um, the haters started coming out of the woodwork to showcase their discontent for my stances on cultural, you know, social, as well as political issues. Now, let me say this. Um, there is definitely a difference between a hater and a person who uh, gives constructive criticism. Um, as the constructive criticism is usually employed to build a person up, whereas the hating is just employed to tear a person down. You know, for example, a buddy of mine uh, had told me that uh, to be sure to interject my faith when it comes to these videos that I make or, or any posts that I make uh, since I am indeed a Christian. And I 100% concur. I 100% agree because our greatest job as a Christian is to uh, be able to speak the truth and speak the truth about Jesus Christ and who we believe in and, and try to save souls. I mean, that's our number one goal. That is indeed something I should be doing more of, no doubt, right? Uh, so right there, that's constructive criticism. Now, I had some do, right? Um, it was a video that I did uh, that was giving nothing but encouragement and well wishes to inner city youth, right? That's all the video was about, is me giving encouragement to inner city youth, right? But this dude, I had this dude in my comment section telling me that I was a clout chaser and, 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 and a fake because I had a decently large following and in other arbitrary reasons, you know, arbitrary reason one, two, three, A, B, C, X, Y, and Z, you know. That, my friends, that is called being a hater, right? Because there was nothing constructive about the criticism that he gave me. It was only employed to simply bring me down and this this hate that I received was 100% tied to the following that I had so uh, here's what I'll say when you do attract haters you know because it will inevitably happen within your life as you start succeeding in life this has nothing to do with just videos but this has to do with life in general as you start excelling in life and doing better for yourself in life, you will inevitably attract haters. And what should be done about these haters? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let them hate. Let them hate and ignore it. But here's the thing, having haters is nothing but a means to show you you are indeed on the right track, right? You are on the right track, so to speak. Haters come uh, uh, when you're doing well for yourself, you know, as I said earlier. So when you advance your station in life, they are bound to arrive, right? So people who are jealous, people who are envious of your success will inevitably throw shade your way and try to bring you back down to their level because your success intimidates them. These type of people are what I would call crabs in the bucket. As instead of them meeting you on your level, they would rather bring you back down, literally and figuratively, bring you back down to their level because as they say, misery loves company. These people don't think it's wrong for you to meet them back on their level instead of them themselves raising the bar to meet you at the tippy top or at least at a higher position. This is how they are and this is how haters operate. So, what are you to do with these crabs in the bucket? Well, again, nothing. Absolutely nothing, just ignore them. For which, <laughs> I need to do better at. I really need to do better at ignoring them. 
it's just fun checking them. It's fun checking these haters, you know, and, 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 and kind of debunking their idiocy so that they feel stupid, right? It's fun for me, but, you know, I am just giving them the attention that they seek because that's what they're seeking. They're seeking attention. They want attention. It's one of those situations that, you know, even bad press is good press to these type of people. So even when you stick it to them, they feel validated in their claims, uh, in, their, or in their attempts to disparage you, or in their attempts to uh, uh, vilify you in every way. They feel emboldened, further emboldened, to continue to do so. So I would just have to say, honestly, just to keep it pushing, and don't pay them any mind. As the envy is easy to see, and don't let them tear you down. Don't let them tear you down and remain strong to showcase that you are unaffected by their drama. And that's another reason why I need to stop engaging with these idiots because the more you engage with them, the more they see that you are being affected by the words that they speak so, or the words that they comment. So don't engage with them so that they can see that you are not of any effect on my life. And honestly, you are under no obligations to have to respond to such hate. As you know exactly who you are, you know what you're about and, and the love you get from others and the people who look up to you should be more than enough to cancel such negativity and hate. So just keep it pushing. Just keep it pushing. And don't let the haters get you down. I can't stress this enough. Do not let the haters get you down. As they say, haters are going to hate, but they don't count. So ladies and gentlemen, stop letting them count. And that includes me. So what about you though? What about you ladies and gentlemen? Do you have haters? And if so, care to share? Let me know in the comment section. But that's all I have for now. Stay tuned for more exclusive content because I always have more real talk to give you. Until next time.